Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. In today's video, I'll be decorating my Christmas tree in my hearth room. And as you can see, I'm jumping right in with this beautiful iridescent black sequence ribbon. I only have one roll of this ribbon, so I'm going to be making cuts during my install and it's not really a sequence ribbon it's more of a glitter type ribbon and it's a little bit hard for me to manipulate the ribbon because there's not a lot of bendable branches in this tree so you'll see later on i'll use the pipe cleaners to attach or secure the ribbon here and there throughout the video so I really did want a nice flowing pattern, but it doesn't have to be perfect because I do have more ribbon and the ornaments will kind of hide some of the imperfections in the ribbon. All right, so now I'll start adding the ornaments. I'm starting off with these beautiful dark gray ornaments I purchased last year from a Christmas boutique in Arkansas. They open once a year for the Christmas season. And I'm also adding these clear large jumbo size ornaments. I purchased them from Michaels and I just jazzed them up using my Podge glitter beads and tacky spray along with some gold foil so i'm just going to add these to the christmas tree these are definitely an easy diy i have five of those i'm going to put four on now and then i'll add the last one to the tree later on in the video i just use some tacky spray my podge gold foil gold beads and some glitter Now that I have those ornaments on, I'm just going to add this black and gold ribbon. And as you can see, I am using a pipe cleaner to hold it in place. The ribbon is really thin and it does have wire in it, but it's not staying in place because there aren't very many bendable branches to lock it in. Thank you. 
my goal with the black and gold ribbon is to kind of overlap the black ribbon. I don't want my ribbon to look so structured. Those trees with the structured looking ribbon, they are pretty, but that's not the look that I'm going for. So I'm just going to kind of overlap and loosely place my black and gold ribbon in the tree just like I did with the black ribbon. have one more piece of the black ribbon so I'm going to split it and add it right back here towards the back of the tree. All right, so let's go ahead and add these floral sprays. I have gold and silver. I purchased these from Hobby Lobby last year and I'm going to add them in somewhat of a zigzag pattern. I'm going to add this flower towards the bottom of the tree and there's no branch to secure it in place. So I'll be using a pipe cleaner. You can also use a zip tie. I'll be using the black glittered and the black shiny ornaments on this tree. The shiny ornaments really give you more of a glam look. So if that's what you're going for, I suggest using those. I do have some matte black ones that came in this pack. I'm not going to use them on this tree this time. I may just stick them in the back to uh, use as fillers so you won't see straight through the tree since I'm not decorating the back of the tree. I purchased these ornaments from a nearby decor store. They were $2 each. I did see these same ones last year at that furniture or Christmas decor store in Arkansas. They were $6. So I got a really good deal for $2. And of course it has that black and gold or black and bronze looking color that I'm looking for. All right, so let's do the tree topper. I purchased three of these last year and I used them in the tree last year. And this year I decided to use them on this tree as part of the topper. So these did come from the Christmas decor store in Arkansas. I believe it's called the Guest Company. I keep saying the Christmas store in Arkansas, but it's called the Guest Company. And then I just recently purchased these black sprays from a Christmas decor store. It's actually it has more than Christmas items, but I purchased it in Jackson, Tennessee, and I meant to get seven because I thought I was going to put it on the seven foot tree, but I actually purchased six. So I could have used probably about nine or 12 of these, but since I'm only really doing the front of the tree and a little bit of the side, it really, uh, it worked out. These are really pretty. They're like a really thin beaded spray and it adds that extra glam if you're looking for glam to your tree. Of course you see me moving them because I thought I was going to use them as part of my topper, but I decided to just let them flow throughout the tree.
I'll be using these beautiful wood color and gold floral picks in the tree topper. I used them last year on another tree and I felt they'll be beautiful on this tree. So I have five of these along with the three I just previously added. And then I'm going to add three more off camera to the top to achieve the look that I'm going for. Here's the completed tree topper. So after stepping back looking at it, I realized I needed to use these clear ornaments I purchased some years ago from Michael. So I'm just going to add them to the tree to give it more of a glam look. And I decided to cluster a few of those together. So that's what I'm doing, creating a cluster of the clear. And these were already clustered from last year and they have more of an iridescent look. So I only have two of those. I also have nine of these bright gold ornaments. So I'm going to create three clusters and place them on the tree in a diagonal pattern. After stepping back looking at the Christmas tree, I did notice some holes or gaps that you can see through the tree since it's in front of the window. So I'm just going to place some ornaments in the same color family, but I didn't necessarily use them on my tree. And then I'll also do the same thing on the back with some larger ornaments because there is no decor on the back of the tree. Isn't this pretty? These are the colors that are on the tree. And no, it is not a skirt. And it is not a shawl. I used it last year on a chair, but it is a tree skirt. So it's a beautiful, furry, black, gold, and white tree skirt. All right, you guys, this is the first phase of the completed look for this Christmas tree. I am going to add a pop of color to the tree. So do me a favor, leave in the comments, what color do you think I'm going to add to this space? So I already have the color. I already have the decor. I'm just curious if you have an idea of what color I'll be using. All right, everyone, this is the end of the video. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you like this type of content, please hit the subscribe button. Turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. Also be on the lookout for the next video, which will be a finished look of this Christmas tree as well as a finished look of this room. Thanks again for watching. Happy holidays and have a great day.